الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين وسيد النبيين وإمام المتقين وقائد الغر المحجلين محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم النبي المبعوث رحمة العالمين It's given me a great pleasure to be at ICNA Mass Convention this 42nd convention and I like very much the theme that connecting great prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Musa, Moses and Isa, Jesus and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sallam is uh, this understanding of all the prophet and the messengers they came with the same message it's a very important message that we need to convey in this beautiful land. Many people don't realize that Muslims believe on all the Prophet and the messengers before Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And as the Quran takes you into a journey through the history of humankind, every time Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala mentioned the story of a prophet or messenger. He mentioned the challenges and the issues that this prophet have faced at his time. And today, Muslims Americans, they are part of the American social fabric where the neighbors, the Jewish and the Christian neighbors have come to stand with them in many masajid across America. And matter of fact, that Muslims have more open houses at this time than any other time. And as we share this message of the unity of the message of all the prophets and messengers from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we need to see the impact of understanding of this concept of Tawheed in human life. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran saying to all of us that every prophet and messengers came with the same message. And every messengers have called his people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Abdullah wa Chanibu Taqut. Every prophet says, worship Allah alone. And do not associate anyone with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You read in the Quran when Fir'aun asked Musa alayhi salam and Harun. He said to them, Qala famar rabbukuma ya Musa. Who's your Lord? Talking to Musa and Harun alayhi salam, who's your Lord? O oh, Moses. Musa alayhi salam. Musa alayhi salam responded, He said, Our Lord is the one He created everything and He guided them. And when Isa alayhi salam said to His people, In Allah Rabbi, وَرَبُّكُمْ فَاعْبُدُوهُ هَذَا صِرَاطٌ مُسْتَقِيمٌ He said to his people, Allah is my Lord and your Lord, and worship him and be in the straight path. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the end of Surah al-Shura, وَكَذَلِكَ وَحَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ رُوحًا مِنْ أَمْرِنَا مَا كُنْتَ تَدْرِي مَا الْكِتَابُ وَلَا الْإِيمَانِ وَلَكِنْ جَعَلْنَاهُ نُورًا نَهْدِي بِهِ مَنْ نَشَاءُ مِنْ عِبَادِنَا وَإِنَّكَ لَتَهْدِي إِلَى صِرَاطٍ مُسْتَقِيمٍ صِرَاطِ اللَّهِ الَّذِي لَهُ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ أَلَا إِلَى اللَّهِ تَصِيرُ الْأُمُورُ Does we reveal to you ruhan min amrina? Imam al-Suyuti said the word ruh here. It indicates that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revived the hearts of the believers through the Quran. 
the Quran. ما كنت تدري ما الكتاب ولا الإيمان. You didn't have any idea about the revelation, nor about the Sharia, that how you conduct your life according to the teaching of the divine revelation. ما الكتاب ولا الإيمان. It doesn't mean here faith, because Rasul صلى الله عليه وسلم always was have tawheed, never committed shirk even before he became a prophet. ما ما كنت تدري ما الكتاب ولا الإيمان. ولكن جعلناه نورا نهدي به من نشاء من عبادنا. We make the Quran as a light. We guide through it all those whom we wish from our servants. وإنك لا تهدي. Then Allah سبحانه وتعالى spoke to the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. He said, "A very surely you guide people the straight path, سرّات الله, the path of Allah, الذي له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض, the one who owns whatever is whatever is on it is in heaven, whatever is on earth." ألا إلى الله تصير الأمور. All the affairs go back to Allah سبحانه وتعالى. What it means then to have this message of Tawheed? I would like to share with you the what we see today uh, when people say I believe in God and they don't really understand what it means to believe in God. Uh, every one of you have a dollar in your pocket. What the dollar says? What the dollar says? In God, in God we trust. If Ikna asks you to donate money, <laughs> your dollar says, in God we trust. Give the dollar because Allah is going to replace it. Because he said, in God we trust. We cannot carry that and we don't understand what it means. Or when people say, one nation under God. What do you mean by one nation under God? that what it means to believe in God, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It means the following. Number one, that all the prophets and the messengers came with the same message, and their brothers, as the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Al-Anbiya ikhwa wa muhatum shatta. Prophets are brothers, but they come from different mothers. But they are brothers. That's why Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he heard a man of his companion arguing with the Jewish man in Medina, who's better, Moses or Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Musa Alayhi Salaam or Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. For Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam prohibited that. He said, do not elevate me over Musa Alayhi Salaam. And he said that in the Day of Judgment, when people are, are resurrected, you will find Musa Alayhi Salaam standing there. And Rasul Alaihi Salaam said, I don't know whether Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala compensated him from the time he passed out when Allah asked him to look to the mountain, when he asked Allah if he can see him. Therefore, all the prophets come with the same message. But every prophet come with this concept of tawheed to address the ills of the society that he lives in. You can see that when Musa alayhi salam was sent to Fir'aun, the challenge was there's a lack of Tawheed, but also there's a political oppression and aggressions. In Fir'aun ala fil ard, wa ja'ala ahla shia. The Fir'aun become arrogant on the land and he create division among people and start oppressing the women and killing the children. Nahu kana min al-mufsirin. He created mischief and corruption on earth. When Musa alayhi salam came to, came to him with Tawheed, Tawheed meant to bring justice and fairness to every human being. Because when people say, I believe in Allah as a creator, that means all human beings are equal before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wahdat al-khalq, the unity of creation. And that unity of creation diminish, abolish, Racism, sexism, and all form of the preferring or discriminating against others because they look different. As all of you know, the verse that's been recited so many times, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya yuhannas, inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin wa untha. We have created from male and female. Wa ja'annakum shu'uba wa qaba'ila li ta'arafu. Inna akramakum and Allahi atqaakum. Inna Allahi alimun khabir. I made two tribes and nations. So you may, so you may get to know one another, and the best among you are those who are the most righteous. Therefore, an American citizen 
and a citizen of any other country are the equal in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And sometimes that we have this feeling that because we are American, we have entitlement. A Muslim visit another country and flash his blue passport. I'm an American. Even in Hajj. We do that, don't we? That we have to remember that we as human being, we have to believe that every human being equal, regardless of their nationality, regardless of the degree that they carry, regardless of the color of their skin, regardless of their, regardless of their gender, male or female. Because the verse says, min dhakarin wa untha. The other verse, you heard me reciting in some other gathering, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ خَلْقُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَاخْتِلَافُ أَرْسِنَاتِكُمْ وَأَلْوَانِكُمْ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتٍ لِلْعَالِمِينَ The message of Musa alayhi salam, the message of Isa alayhi salam, the message of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, all of them calling humanity to say to them that the, 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 uh, the fact that you have variation of languages and colors, that is a sign of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cannot be reason for discrimination. And have been taught the, in the uh, tradition that Isa alayhi salam, Jesus, was asked, was one of his disciples, that which tribe does he, does he prefer? And they said Isa alayhi salam reached out, reached to the, and grabbed some dust. And grabbed them in both hands and he opened it before the man, he said, which one do you like? Ya Yohannas, inna khalaqnakum min turab. We created you from dust. The second, that the, the unity of purpose. Allah says in the Quran, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ مَا أُرِيدُ مِنْهُمْ رِزْقٍ وَمَا أُرِيدُ أَيُطْعِمُونَ إِنَّ اللَّهُ هُوَ رَزَّاقُ ذُو الْقُوَةِ الْمَتِينَ We have not created, I have not created jinn or ins for any other purpose except to worship me. For the unity of purpose of creation for all humanity. The unity of destiny. All humanity go into one direction. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. Kullu shayin halikun illa wacha. Everything will perish and vanish. Except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, majesty the everlasting. But humanity have to remember there's something called Day of Judgment. That every person will be standing before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah will bring prophets, Musa alayhi salam, and Isa alayhi salam, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa and all humanity before him. And this uh, dimension is very important because if human beings believe in the ultimate accountability before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will not see injustice. You will not see discrimination. You cannot use, see people using their power to abuse others. For this is a very important aspect of Tawheed. Now, I do believe in this country, the Muslims and Christians and Jews, they can come together and look to the values of their religion and apply those values if they do truly apply the value, for example, love thy neighbor. You ask a Christian, is this one of the great teaching of Jesus? They will say yes. You ask a Jewish person, is it also a teaching of Moses? They will say yes. Is it teaching of Rasulullah? Is yes. Imagine if every human being from those three religions, let's start with Muslims and Christians and Jews. They really respect and love and accept the rights and fulfill the rights of the neighbor. You will end war in Syria today. Am I correct? <laughs> it, will, it will be over. You will have the tension happening in America between immigrants and, 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 and American public will diminish. You will have the war in Africa among Muslims or in Asia will end. 
Because it does not say your neighbor has to be Muslim. Am I correct? And the challenge for you and I, get to know a neighbor who does not look like you and even is not in the same religion. Because the neighbor has a right on us. If we promote in America compassionate neighborhood, imagine. This will be the ICNA, ISNA, MASS, MUNA initiative. Compassionate neighborhood. And we bring our fellow Americans from various religions and who says you need to commit yourself to the golden rule. Love thy neighbor. You don't have to love them, by the way. It starts with protecting them and fulfilling the rights of your neighbor. And that neighbor, it does not say has to be Muslim, black, or white, and so forth and so on. The most difficult thing that discomfort people have when they leave their comfort zone and reach out to somebody who is not like them. I would like to maybe begin with ICNA convention, ICNA mass convention. Get to know another Muslim from a different ethnic background. Not, not all the Sudanese hang together. <laughs> Let the Sudanese get to know non-Sudanese. I'm from Sudan, that's why I'm saying that. Let the, all the Pakistani reach out to non-Pakistani, ethnicity-wise, and Bangladeshi, and African-American, white Americans. This is the essence of message of Musa, alayhi salam, of Isa, alayhi salam, of Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is number one. Number two, the message of service that all of us being called to serve others. It's very interesting, there's a hadith of Rasulullah Sallam, the similar of it in Matthew, where Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saying that Allah will say, oh my servant, I was sick and you didn't visit me. And a person will say, oh Allah, how could you, could, how possibly you could felt sick? You are the Lord of the, the world. Then Allah will say, don't you know so-and-so was, was sick? If you have visited them, you'll find me there. I was hungry and he fed me not. And here, it can relief, Islamic relief, and uh, helping hands, all of those. Please, my brothers and sisters, see what kind of program they're doing and become part of it. And I'm very happy to see Muslims are working with people of other faith in their, in their communities. We can, in America, we can challenge ourselves as Muslims and Christians and Jews to say, let us feed the people. Let us address the issue of challenges in the inner city. If that become our way of showing our faith, imagine how many people will have positive view of faith. Religion now has bad name, to be honest with you. The fastest growing group of people in America are atheists, people living religion. And therefore, that will be one of the important virtue and value we share with others. The last point I want to say, that we must stand together against the discriminations and racism. Because if we believe in equality before God Almighty, and if the value of our constitution in the United States indicate that all men are created equal, created equal, which is referring to God, then why is still there some discrimination in America? Why is there some racism in America? People of faith, they have to get together and to say, we're following the teaching of Moses, the teaching of Jesus, the teaching of Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, jami'an, all of them, and we will not accept racism, sexism, discrimination against communities. And if we do that, it will be a turning point in the history of this country. And the moment is now. May God Almighty help all of us to be the best ambassador of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And we share with people the values that the Quran taught us about all our prophets that whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
called us not to discriminate against any one of them. لا نفرق بين أحد من رسله. We do not discriminate among the prophets of Allah because all of them come with the same message. أقول قولي هذا والصفر لكم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله.